Video number three, cranking these bad boys out here today. Anyway, um, this one is for my ladies out there. Now, I see a lot of y'all post topics on, you know, post, you know, statuses on Facebook and everything. You know, where the real niggas at? You know, where's all the real men? Why can't a man just be 100% upfront and real me? I mean, there ain't no wrong with one of the real man ladies. I mean, I'll give you that, but it's one problem with that statement. And the problem is, you know, y'all want a real man, but... What is a real man to you? I mean, in your eyes, what do you define as a real man? Because I even posted this on Facebook myself. You ask a hundred different women what a real man is, you get a hundred different answers every time. I guarantee you that. Because even, I, you know, this is an excerpt from Jeff Foxworthy. He says, you know, women don't know what they want. And I'll agree with y'all, women don't know what they want. But the only reason why they don't know what they want is because they got so much to choose from. And because men think that women are complicated, you know, women like to think men are complicated too. And I do believe that women understand men better than men understand women. But the only reason why is because they study us. They actually bother to listen to us. And, you know, a lot of times we mix up what we want with what we need. And, you know, I say women make that mistake a little bit more often than men do. But I say that the reason why, the only reason why women don't understand us 100% better than they already do is because they don't want to, flat out. Because unpredictability is the key to attraction, you know. They don't want to know what we're thinking. They don't want to know everything about us up front. They don't want to know our next move because I guarantee you if we laid everything out on the table up front 100% of the time, you know, that wouldn't be a challenge to them. That'd be no kind of real chase for them whatsoever because they already know everything about us. I mean, it doesn't matter what our intentions is either. If we said, you know what, I'll, you know, I like you, I want to do this with you, I want to, you know, a real, a real steady, stable relationship and I think I can trust you, that'll scare them away. And if we just came up to them on this shit and said, you know what, I just find you physically attractive. I ain't interested in getting to know you. I just want to hit and then get it over with and go on to the next one. If our intentions were clear like that, either way, we wouldn't get to know them at all. That's the reason why people are so messed up in relationships now, is because they can't differentiate what's fake from what's real. And it seems like you'll attract somebody quicker for being fake than for being real, or for just, you know, being all smoke and mirrors about themselves. I mean, for instance, if a girl's attracted to the first dude who she sees who's driving an expensive car and got on a, a chain, or basically his appearance or something like that, if he's six foot five, if he's one of these steroid pumping muscle heads who can't even turn around to wipe their own ass, then yeah, of course she's going to go for him first, because she won't look at his personality. And guys, we're just as guilty, because, you know, we're attracted to, you know, video chicks, or, I mean, we're, ver we're uh, visually attracted to um, video chicks, you know, D-sized boobs, you know, nice ass curves, you know, all that stuff, you know. That's stuff that we want. That ain't necessarily what we need because the thing is, what we want, that shit doesn't last. It only lasts, you know, what, about a good 15, 20 years. But guess what? That person who you want may not be the person you need because that person probably won't hold you down if you're sick. They won't come to your rescue if you get in a car wreck or hurt in an accident or something like that, you know. They won't do, the, the, the person who you need won't do, will, will do a lot more for you than the person that you want. Because the person you want, they will move on to the next person who sees something they got what they want. You know, if they if they see somebody who has more to offer on a superficial level, then guess what? They will murder them. Won't give a shit about you. And that's the main reason why guys cheat, or shoot, that's the reason why girls cheat too. But that's the main thing. You know, we mix up what we want, what we need. And you know, like I said, this video is mainly for the ladies, or you know, I'm just asking ladies a question. But you know, it applies to the fellas too. But just tell me what y'all think about this. I'm out, y'all. Peace.